I worked at Dr. Kermit Gosnell's office, and um, I started out doing tools, the instruments, and then eventually I was asked to help in the room during procedures. I was supposed to just volunteer because I had, I had just uh, left my husband and you know, they were looking out for me for income. He taught me everything. I became his ace, as they say, right hand man. I just felt as though I owed him because when, when I was in high school, I met their niece. They helped me. They helped me through high school, you know. My prom, when my daughter was born, everything, they've been there. I've had two abortions of my own. So I understood what the ladies were going through. I've been in their shoes. So my thing was I have to support them because I understand. So it, it really, it didn't bother me at first. I became, I've noticed I became numb with all the craziness that was going on, I was numb to it. They weren't jars, they were uh, gallon milk cartons where we had to, we had to cut the top of it. You know, of course, make the hole big enough, but yeah, they were, they were milk, the gallon milk judges, jugs, that's what they were. The, yeah, that's what we stored and we had to put them in, you know, put them in the freezer for the biohazard people to come. I left in 2008. Um, it became, it was like a heaviness that I, I just had to get out of there. I knew, I, I came to a point where I knew this is not the place for me. What I was doing, it was totally wrong. I thought about income, you know, what am I gonna do? But I gave him my two weeks. It was the best feeling weight I mean it's the best feeling in the world the weight was lifted um, I still had you know little thoughts going on in my head I was free from from that building but I I wasn't free mentally but I was free from the building so that was a start I went to prison around January of 2011 the advice that I would have for them get out because like for me, I had to learn how to sleep in the dark again. You know, it's like it's a it takes it takes a toll on you mentally. And people that work in these clinics, they really can't talk to nobody. You know, it's, they just feel as though they're going to get judged and everything. So my advice is to get out while you can. Get out while you can. Don't end up like me where it's too late. You end up in prison. You know. Just get out. There's help out here. There's resources. It's funny because it's a Planned Parenthood in my neighborhood. And um, I always wonder, what can I do to get their attention? But I will not do it yet because I'm not trained. You know, I, I, wanna, I wanna be trained to do stuff like that. Right now, I'm just, I'm just going through my healing journey. You know, that's that's where I'm at right now. And like I said, I'm very I'm I'm a blessed woman. You know, I have some powerful women on my on you know, on my back. I, I they got me. You, you know, and um I'm thankful. I'm thankful.